Hi Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Mana Copes' Tarot. I am Amira. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support here on the channel, my dear soul family. I love you guys to life. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Alright, this is going to be a weekly message for the sign of Pisces. So wherever you have Pisces in your chart, it may resonate for you. But keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone at all or in the same way. Okay, if you're interested in a personal reading where everything will resonate for you, my dear, <laughs> you can always reach out to me via email. That information is in the description box, okay? So Pisces, uh, let's see. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They're like, you done talking? I'm ready. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. There's a lot of um, cognitive challenging here this week for the collective. Bottom of the deck, we have surrender, which is your energy in the hangman. I can release my need to control. Oof. Okay, Pisces, what are you trying to control? What are you trying to control? The outcomes. All right, let's get a chakra card and see what else is going on here. The perseverance automatically, of course, reminds me of that nine of wands energy where we are in a place of like, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> Why aren't things happening differently? Why do I keep getting obstacles? Why do people and things in the universe keep trying to knock me down? You can do it, but uh, change your mindset, perhaps. Okay, and release the need to control the outcomes because that's a part of what's blocking you as well, Pisces, from, uh, 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 um, um, okay, all right. The, the word that I, I don't know what word I even wanted to use, okay, but because they keep just saying contributing, okay, so it's blocking you from contributing to something. I don't know what that means. Perhaps healthily contributing to a, a relationship or, or contributing to your growth or something like this. Yeah, we have passion, okay, coming out. The sacral chakra. Sacral chakra is filled with, excuse me. <laughs> the sacral chakra is filled with passion, okay? This is someone who is giving back. She's, um, I believe she's volunteering. And look, we have you at the bottom of the deck, mysticism. So people, you're, you're coming in out of nowhere. Or for some of you, there may be an opportunity here that's coming in out of nowhere. No, gossip here as well as joy. Interesting. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's throw some tarot on that thing. <laughs> but with the passion card, Pisces, like I said, that's the um, sacral chakra. And it speaks to your deep emotions, okay? Your feelings. The things that you need, okay? Um, from an emotional standpoint. Hmm, interesting. Okay, show me with clarity, please, what's going on for Pisces in this message. There's something you guys are going after, okay? I feel like people are looking at you like you're crazy as well with whatever this is, or maybe you guys are just feeling that way, okay? And that's a part of why you're needing to push through, but there, there is, there's, there's this energy of you feeling like you need to push through some kind of obstacle that, um, I like it because, you know, perseverance is a good, it's a, it's a good quality to have. Um, but I feel like whatever the obstacle is, it's, it's either not as big as you are making it out to be, or it's not even present at all. This, for some of you, when I say not present at all, for some of you, this is something that's going on within and not so much externally. But with that gossip card, I do feel like there is some kind of um, pressure or expectations outside of yourself as well. Nine of Swords. <laughs> there she is. That stress, that anxiety, those sleepless nights, that the, the 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 extreme worry. But this is what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of what's going on here is uh, uh, solely internal. Okay, a lot of you are feeling like you don't have support for some reason. I'm not sure what that's about. Whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> We have the lover's card at the bottom of the deck. So the lover's card presents a choice, but you are confused as hell. You're confused, Pisces. You're confused. The lover's card presents a choice, okay? It's a, it's a need to make a head over heart decision, but you took that literally and you're all up in your head. 
<laughs> okay, what's going on here, please? So for some of you, like I said, this could have to do with what you can contribute to a relationship. I'm not sure why I keep wanting to say it that way. It's really strange, but it um, may have to do with the relationship. It may have to do with your work, your uh, um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing um, within like a uh, uh, personal development. Okay, Six of Wands coming out. So the Six of Wands is in fact a card of support, but this is a card of someone who is overcoming the battle. Like I said, this is internal. I feel like this is a week where you are getting some kind of clarity. I like this energy already. Yeah, Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So gaining some kind of internal stability or something that you can hold on to. It's like you're, the, the, you know, the Six of Wands is an energy of someone who receives some kind of recognition and they are deserving of it. I feel like there's, you, uh, you know, spirit is like dropping you a little... <laughs> dropping you a little something to help you keep going here for some of you this could be um perhaps it's a partner or or something to that effect yeah king of cups four of pentacles okay this is bringing you some kind of peace whatever this is pisces i feel like yeah it's throwing you a bone that's what i was trying to find okay of some throwing you a bone of some sort it could it could have to do with the relationship again take it as it resonates it have to do with the relationship it could have to do with work maybe a business that you are trying to uh, um, create or build for yourself six of wands is a card of fame okay this is someone who has supporters or someone who has followers it could be someone who is famous ultimately it's someone who has overcome a battle okay okay what else please Thank you. Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, like I said, the Spirit is throwing you a bone. Okay, we go from the Six of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever this is, it will help you. It will help you on the road to your to success, whatever success looks like to you. Okay, star card at the bottom of the deck. Again, I don't know what this energy is of fame or, or, or what have you. Yeah, the star and the judgment. What? Pisces, do you have any idea? Let me explain it, okay? <laughs> This is everything. Okay, did you get me? You got that? This is everything. The star card and the judgment, especially as it pertains to uh, anything, really, but especially as it pertains to your career, your finances, things of that sort. This is having some kind of awakening or having some kind of general. There's some there's some kind of generosity here. I'm not sure what it is. If it you know if it is just in the um you know by way of some kind of angel, like I said, dropping it in your lap or or someone in the 3D. However, it's coming about. This is everything. Wow. And because you have persevered through the difficulties within and without, I love it. This is, you know, you're being rewarded, I feel like, this week, Pisces. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, please. <clears throat> you're gaining some kind of attention. Yeah, okay, Three of Swords coming out. Swords on Swords on Swords. This is kind of where you've been. Some of you have ex experienced a tower moment or you're still trying to pick up the pieces from this tower moment. But I feel like, again, with that star card, OK, the star card is what comes in following the tower. That's that is sort of what you are gaining this week, getting into a place of finding more peace and healing. OK, yeah, the hangman and the tower. OK. Gaining a new perspective on, on your situation and surrendering. As we said at the beginning of this, letting go of control, okay? You cannot control the outcomes of things and you cannot control the past. I posted something like that on Instagram the other day. What did it say? You can't change the past. You can only affect the future by remaining present. I should put that on a damn t-shirt. All right, tell me more about the Nine of Swords. So there's been some kind of um, probably betrayal here, okay, or um, some kind of hurt or pain or disappointment, right, with the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups back here as well. So for a lot of you, you've been on this journey of self-discovery. I feel like you've been on this journey of self-love. Moving forward, things are changing. Things are changing, Pisces. Things are changing. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Will of Fortune and the World card here. Things are changing, okay? I feel like there was definitely an extreme heartbreak, okay, back here. This is extreme. The Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords, like, this is crushed dreams, for real. With this Nine of Swords energy, I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, this has created fears, 
rational fears and irrational fears, okay? Which is what we call anxiety. All right, what's this six of wands? Because you're receiving some kind of blessing. <clears throat> what's this six of wands, please, for Pisces? I'm coming out. Boom, boom. I want the world to know. I feel like what there was some kind of embarrassment back here as well. Something was public. Okay, something was public. Public enough to be embarrassing. Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. This is someone who has mastered their craft. You're deserving of this, Pisces. I don't know if there's a promotion here or a new job that you are uh, going out for, but I feel like you are deserving of this with this Eight of Pentacles energy. This is someone who works really hard, okay, or at work. What, 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 tell me more, please, about the Six of Wands. Eight of Pentacles is someone who focuses on the details and thereby is deserving of some kind of recognition. You're receiving some kind of recognition. This is a huge opportunity. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? A huge opportunity. Again, with the Nine of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. This is something that you want, that you desire, and that you are deserving of. Point blank, period. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. For some of you, this is a relationship. For some of you, this is really just you um, feeling whole again, okay? Because like I said, with this Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords back there, like that is that is that is like seriously crushed dreams, okay? Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles. So whatever whatever this opportunity is here that's coming in for you guys, whatever this attention is that you're receiving, it could be for your work, for your just like recognition for your hard work. Like I said, Spirit is throwing you a bone, okay? Recognition for your hard work. Some kind of recognition. And it's going to be long lasting with this Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Sun and the Temperance card. This is healing. Okay. This is definitely good health, wealth, success, a happy relationship. This is a peaceful resolution. This is um, beginning to accept some kind of ending. Okay. Or, or difficulty that has occurred. This is a beautiful message, Pisces. Damn. All right, let's get any final messages or guidance um, of it or advice, okay, for Pisces or anything else that you would like to uh, reiterate. That's too many. <clears throat> it's time, Pisces. I love this. The Sun card with the Seven of Pentacles. This is going to grow. Whatever this is, it's going to grow. And I feel like it's going to bring you peace, okay? This is something or someone that balances you out in just the right way. You've been patient, I feel like. Gosh, what a beautiful message. All right, final messages, please, for the family. The Magician and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is something you have manifested, Pisces, again, with the details. You have been really focusing, 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 and working really hard. For some of you, this is, the you know, the, the just the hard work that you have put into something, again, that you are passionate about, whether you are volunteering or um, spending time with, uh, you know, the things and the people that you love and that you are passionate about. I feel like you're being rewarded for your hard work, point blank, period. And you have manifested this by way of being patient, by way of doing the work, by way of not being lazy, by way of not giving up. You have persevered. Uh, come on, somebody. Beautiful, beautiful message, Pisces. You guys, let me know down in the comments how this plays out for you, okay? You let me know, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, Pisces, I love you guys, and I will see you next time for the next one. Bye.